in this video we will talk about Facebook pixels now Facebook used to have several different types of pixels like custom audience pixel conversion tracking pixel but recently they have combined everything into Facebook pixel and really simplified the process for advertisers now you can use Facebook pixel for number one building website custom audiences so if you want to retarget your website visitors on Facebook number two you can create custom conversions or conversion tracking using Facebook's pixel number three you can optimize your ads for certain type of conversions on your website so in other words Facebook pixel allows you to track actions on your website and optimize your ads for those specific actions so let's take a look at how you can set up a pixel and then install it on your website now keep in mind there is only one pixel for one ad account and if you have used it you may not see it again and let me show you what I mean so I'm logged into my Facebook's ads manager if I click on tools and go to pixels so see there's a Facebook pixel and conversion tracking pixel which is old I would not recommend using conversion tracking pixel because Facebook is supposed to take that away in 2016 so focus on Facebook pixel and in my case for my ad account it's already active and installed on my website so I cannot install it again but let me show you a different account so this is one of my clients and it's her Facebook ads account if you go to tools and click on pixel this is what you will see and in step number one you will create and install your pixel in step number two you can create custom audiences and target those people or retarget those people on Facebook and then you can track certain actions that matter for your business now when you hit create a pixel this is what you see you can name your pixel and then hit create pixel for now I won't do that for her account but let's go back to my ads account once you have your Facebook pixel created you will have a pixel ID here you go right here now this is the ID that you will have to install on your website or you can also install the pixel code for that if you go to actions and view pixel code now this is the Facebook pixel code that you have to install between the head and head tag on your website now if you have a developer or a team that manages your website you can just email them this pixel code with the instructions and they will be able to do it let me actually go back or if you want to install it yourself just make sure you copy the code below right here and paste it between head and head tag on your website code and then this pixel will be installed on all of your website pages and will track visits to every single page of your website now if you have a WordPress I have a simpler method for you there is a plugin called pixel your site right here now let me show you I have that plugin installed on my WordPress website which is isocialu.com so if you go to the admin section of your WordPress you can go to plugins and then add new plugin and after you install this plugin click on pixel your site and then Facebook pixel select that and this is where you can input your pixel ID 
right here. Check this box to activate plugin general settings and then save it. That's it. It's very simple. You don't have to install the whole pixel code if you are using this plugin on your WordPress website. Now let's go back. And as you can see in my advertising, my Facebook Ads Manager and under Facebook, under sorry, Tools and Pixel, the status is active for default pixel, which means it's working on my website and Facebook is tracking traffic on my website right here. Now, let's talk about how you can use Facebook Pixel. So there are two main ways you can use it. Number one, you can create website custom audience and retarget or remarket to them on Facebook. So let me show you how to do that. The easiest way is once your pixel is active on the website, you can hit create audience and here again your default pixel and then you can build audience for people who visit your website or people who visit specific web pages and some other ones. You can pick several different options from here or you can create your own combination. And then you can select these people have been on your website in last 30 days or maximum of 180 days. Include past traffic and then enter the name for your audience. In this case, it's really my all website traffic last 30 days. Now keep in mind the pixel is active on my isocialu.com and that's the website we're talking about here. And once you are done, hit create audience and Facebook will add that to your custom audience. And then you can use this custom audience and create different type of ads and target or remarket these people on Facebook with your ads. For now, I won't do this because I already have all website traffic and actually 180 days website custom audience set up. There you go. So I'm actually in, if you click on tool and audience section, audiences, and here is the audience all website traffic so this is my website custom audience that I created actually just yesterday and Facebook has recently started tracking people that have been to my website so let's go back now the second use of Facebook pixel is very powerful you can create custom conversions or conversion tracking and then optimize your ads for conversions. What that means is you can track different actions on your website. For example, email sign up, purchase, a book download, or people who register and go to your thank you page. And then optimize your Facebook ads for those conversions or those actions. So let's look at that in more detail. So again, we're back into tools and then pixels section. We just saw how to create audience from Facebook pixel. Now let's click on create conversion. And there are two options. You can track conversions with standard events or you can do track custom conversions. Let's check the conversions with standard events. And here are some standard events that Facebook defines. A lead or a purchase. And here is the description of a lead. Track when user expresses interest in your offering. For example, form submission, sign up for a trial, landing on a pricing page. So when people enter their email, to get something, maybe to contact you using a form, maybe to sign up for your trial product, or maybe to see your pricing 
by entering their email. That's what Facebook defines as a lead. And here is the event code. Now, keep in mind, we have already installed the Facebook Pixel by using a plugin of WordPress. That Pixel exists on all the pages on your website, but you will still have to add this event code on those specific success pages on the website. Now, again, you can email this Pixel code to your web team or your to, to your developer and have them install it. Or if you wanted to do it yourself, it's actually very simple. Just copy the code for the event you want to track and then paste it after the Facebook pixel code on that web page. Very simple. And actually, if you're using that plugin that I just showed you, let's bring that up. Pixel your site. It becomes very easy. Let's actually take a real example. I know it can be confusing, but let me walk you through a real life scenario. So on my website, isocialu.com, when people visit my blog page, there is a lead generation form here. Get free Instagram marketing hacks. I use these hacks to grow my Instagram to 10K followers. When people enter their email addresses, they're actually taken to another page on my website. So this is my success page. When people enter their email, I get a lead and they're taken to this page. So what I can do is, let's go back to that plugin. The plugin that we installed on our WordPress, pixel your site, and then go to on page, on post slash page events. Click on that. And this is where you can add standard or custom events. Enter your full or partial URL. And here's the URL of my success page. And in my case, the event type is a lead. There you go. And if you wanted to set a value of this lead, you could do that as well. and then click on this activate standard event setup and then after that just save this that's it so there are a couple of ways that you can use to install the event code on your website number one you can email it to your developer and they can do it Number two, you can copy this event code and then paste it on that specific website page after the Facebook pixel. And number three, you can use this plugin that I just showed you, pixel your site. And in that section called on post page events, you can create that standard event. There are multiple ways of getting this done. Let's go back. So this is how you can create, I'm gonna click back, tracking conversions with standard events. Now there's another option, and which is by the way is my favorite and I only use this option right here. So track custom conversions. And let me actually read this for you. Track and optimize ads for customized actions without adding anything to your Facebook pixel code. So if you're using custom conversions, you don't have to add the event code that you had to do with this option. So let me show you how you can set a custom conversion up. Let's click on that. And basically in this example that I just talked about, I want to track people who have been to this landing page. Free hyphen Instagram because when people give me their emails this is the page this is the success page or a thank you page or a page they see after they have submitted the their emails so add that here 
and again just make sure your pixel is active and green and pick a category in my case it's a lead next and then you can add the the name for this custom conversion if you wanted to you could add the conversion value and then hit create I won't do that here because I have already created this custom conversion and let me actually show you how to check that so once your custom conversion is created you can hit on tools and go to custom conversions there we go so I already have a custom conversion called free Instagram page which is a lead type of category using the default pixel and it's already active and it, it was active just a couple of hours ago and it is already tracking some conversion traffic on that page so this is how you can create a Facebook pixel then install it on your website and after that you could use it for number one building website custom audiences number two creating and tracking custom conversions on your website in the website conversion ads demo section of this course we will see how you can optimize your Facebook ads for these custom conversions that you created by using Facebook's pixel.